Well, my name is Derek Bailey, and I am one of the Fukushima ambassadors. These are the other ambassadors, Sarah Sublet, Nicole Martinez, Jessica Gillis, and uh, Britt Edquist here. The genesis of the Fukushima Ambassador Program started last year when historic signing of a memorandum of understanding between Fukushima University and Colorado State. And so the Fukushima Ambassador Program was designed as a hands-on community service-based approach to learning to sort of Mr. William McMichael, who's in charge of their international programs, mentioned that they had the Fukushima Ambassadors program, and I asked him if it would be possible for us to send some students to that program. He personally has just a really strong desire to show us his Fukushima. These are tiles. These are roof tiles. Yes from a house that used to be here. These are the foundations. We took a couple of tours of towns that had been demolished by the tsunami and by the earthquake and that have now been evacuated because of the spread of radioactive contamination. And it was a sobering experience. When we brought the CSU students here, the re reaction we got from them was just absolute shock. They couldn't believe that this area is still in this state in spite of it being all more than three years ago when the tsunami waves came. And we would be driving around the bus and you'd see fields next to the ocean. And then you think, wait, this is Japan. This is one of the most densely populated countries. These were entire generations of families and just like blink of the eye, gone. So we were there just to see and to observe and to be able to communicate what we'd seen, which was interesting for us as master students to not go in in a scientific context. And I think that was part of what inspired us to get into the program. They actually knew a lot about Fukushima before coming because they'd been studying it, but they only knew Fukushima from the data and the figures. When they came here, they realized how much more there is to the story, how much uh, the sociological impacts especially. This is a once in a lifetime chance to see not only the science side of what's going on there, but also to see it's not just a faceless reference person that we do the dose calculations for. I think it's difficult to have a balanced worldview without being able to see what happens in these places. So Fukushima to me obviously was just a, a name, it was something I associated with the accident. And so I think that the program truly accomplished its goals of allowing us to understand that Fukushima was much more than just the accident. I came back I think really understanding what Fukushima means to the people who live there.